I don't even know what to do. I got two fish on. Two fish on. What do I do? It's summer. Or at least summer is approaching quickly. You know, after our last fishing trip, we were out there all day. Came home, got there at midnight. So I think I'm gonna start incorporating some more camping into the fishing trips. Just making it more efficient to go to some cool places that are kind of far away. Texas has got tons of parks. Basically just enjoy that extra element of the outdoors while the weather is nice. Me and Lunkers TV are heading out there right now. We're gonna do a little camping tonight, some fishing tomorrow, and just kind of playing around in the water. It takes me back to my childhood days. My dad would take me camping and fishing do all sorts of outdoor stuff man I just enjoyed those trips I remember them for the rest of my life and I'm blessed I get to go do them now sunset can you see that in the rearview mirror boat trailer mmm it's always pretty love to see that side glad I got in here before it was totally dark too there's a deer two doe there's the park gate right there Never been to this park, but it seems really nice. Really well kept. Tax dollars at work. It's much different terrain. It's almost like being out west. They have these campsites right on the lake. Oh my gosh, there's a deer right here. There's deer right here in the middle of the road. Look at that. Hey, hey girl. What's up? You're tiny. You're a tiny little hill deer. There's another one over there. You gotta love it. Oh, and here's Rob. He's jumping out in the middle of the road. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, just back her on in. We okay. And everything. I smell something. I smell propane. I smell. I smell meats. I smell American. Dude, it is America. I had to. Freedom isn't free. Oh, <laughs> I had to put on pants. The bugs just like. Oh, they. They just. Bad. They just came out. Unless you got thermosail. I don't have one. Yeah. You know? All right. They came out quick. Cool. Went from zero to 100. I don't have a spatula either, so we're gonna have to hand flip it. Okay, hand flipping. This is a cool grill though. A little portable action. Okay. And some jalapeno cheddar sausage. Uh, nice. Well, I got a special little treat. Just a, just a little appetizer here. When you get old, like me and Rob, I guess, start going to ease of life. Got some deer sausage. Just some summer sausage. Are you ready to go? It's ready to go. Oh, good. I like me some of that stuff. That's good stuff. Are the wrapping already off? Yep. Oh yeah. It's perfect. Dude, you did good things with your life here. So I want this for my... Gotta have a lantern. And I oh yeah. How good it was gonna be. Oh yeah, you were like, don't worry, I got everything. And, and, and then the first thing he says when I get hurt, what are you sleeping on? I got this big nice mattress. This, no, this thing's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the, the deck of your boat, that's where I'm sleeping. I haven't put it up. And you're gonna sleep on the deck of my boat. Yeah, or I can sleep on the deck of your boat, yeah. So this is Rob's bed. I think this is, what is this, a Casper mattress or something like that? This is something I'm testing out. Okay, yeah. he's He's got a full-blown encased situation. I think he's going to sleep on the deck of my boat, just uncovered. Meanwhile, I've got this. Instead of sleeping directly on my truck bed, which I'm going in the back here, I'm going to use my boat cover as cover, literally. Heh. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to deal with it. I hate that stuff in my face. Yeah. Zipper on up. Yeah, there you go. That's legit. I'm still sweating. Are you sweating? You don't want to be sweaty when or you're do you sleeping. Want me to sleep with you? No, we did that once in the back of this truck, and that was a that was a little claustro. This unfolds. You blow it up. You got this little section right here. It creates a little a little air layer just so you're not sleeping on the ground so if you're literally just going with a backpack you can throw that in there or throw it in the car or truck it creates that little layer so you're not getting as cold and the little cushion but I've got my boat cover which is also nice we got our free range bag I got some extra clothes and stuff like that I'm gonna fashion a blanket of some sort and we're gonna be all right it's no big deal I've had worse oh my gosh I can actually see in here this looks pretty good it is time to go to bed. The rain is coming in strong. Thunderstorms for the next four hours. I got 
Rob back behind me sleeping on top of my boat along with Steve his camera guy he's on the back deck as well I am settled in in here for the night this is my this is my bedding my little blow up deal I got my my little uh, pillow from home on top of my boat cover it is freaking hot though it's really hot in here it's the only problem I opened up the vents but it's still hot <laughs> we got a skunk outside <sighs> it's so miserable I might just have the rain hit me it's so hot. He's on the back deck, just your sleeping just wide open. Just, it's so hot. <laughs> Alright. That skunk's back. Have y'all ever seen this? This is weird. Camping on top of a bass boat. I feel like uh the it's going this way, so do I put the head probably like this, right? See Steve. Yeah, or Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. He's sleeping in the rain just because it's so hot. <laughs> Oh, that's hardcore. Oh, oh my. Is that, is that Arvid Hammer? <laughs> that's mine. That's my old man toothpaste. <laughs> Throw it in here. Arvid Hammer complete, right there. Yeah. Why is my mattress wet? I don't know. Did you pee on it? No, I know why. Because I freaking opened up the thing when it was rank. I let all the freaking puddles go in here. God dang it. <laughs> Good night. I'm so wet. All right. Here we go. my free range jackets and thermal socks and sweatshirt on so I survived looks like the boat survived the night the sun is just coming up Lunkers is not here that's a story that only he can tell you have to go visit his channel to check it out but in his spirit we must fish on the life is teeming this morning get a look at this y'all Look at this snake. It's got like a frog or something in his mouth. The snake doesn't look too friendly. Right there at the ramp, man. Got a bass right here. It's garden fry on this tree. Oh, chasing it. I see you. I see you working, buddy. Working overtime on that fry life. Wow, it is May right now. And I'm basically spawn fishing. The trick with fry fishing is you gotta get it right there in them. That's actually a big one. Oh man. What? And there's another one following it? Oh, get away from that tree. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, get out of that tree, get out of that tree, get out of that tree, and come here. I see ya. There's there's another one with it. Oh my gosh, look at this other one with it, guys. Oh man, that's a big one. Come here. Mmm. God. Mm -mm -mm. That was awesome. Okay, I think I found myself some spawning fish. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing fry garters, but I've seen some that are kind of like right there on the bottom. I caught that one on a little flickety split. Oh, I see a bed right there. Wow, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Can really see these beds. This is crazy. Oh, I see a small mouth. I see a small mouth. Oh man, all right, we'll put this guy in a well for a pick. Let him go. So this is like by far some of the clearest water. I've ever fished in Texas. I've come to this lake one time and they had had a fish kill a couple years before and the fishing sucked. But now it seems like the fishing is pretty good. I was filming some other stuff this morning, catching fish on top water, and then I just picked up that little uh, flickety spit or flickety split. It's a mystery tackle box bait. 
and they were munching it. I mean, watch me let this fish go into this clear water. It's freaking insane how far you can see. I mean, isn't that crazy? I mean, I think it's just amazing to see fish in the water like this. You get to learn so much. It's hard. It's hard to even fish when you can see in that clear water. I've seen fry garters. Uh, I think I've seen some fish on beds. There's a lot of bluegill up shallow. Now, the cool thing about today, you know, unfortunately, we don't have Rob with us today. He was supposed to be here. Uh, he had to leave under dire circumstances. But a um, couple boys that are coming out that know the underwater scene well. That's Yappy Tuan Tuan and Jigging with Jordan, otherwise known as Brandon and Tristan. And uh, they have got their equipment. They are heading out here, uh, and they're going to get here during the, like, the bright, sunny part of the day. And we're going to do a bunch of underwater filming, have some fun with those guys. I think they're going to have a blast out here underwater. I honestly want to get in just to see. I mean, the water's like 80 degrees, but these, these fish are still in bedding behavior. This is nuts. But I'm just enamored with clear water anytime I get to see it. But hope you guys are enjoying this. Well, I'm going to get back to fishing while I'm waiting on these guys, see if we can catch a couple more. This is fun. Well, there's another one. That was my first cast after letting that other fish go. Using six pound line here, which is very rare for me, the situation definitely calls for it. There's another one. Hey, gone. Oh my gosh, there's another fish. Man, just seeing them everywhere. There he is. Got him. Come out. Come out. Oh, 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 oh. Drag's a little loose. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's another big one. Oh, oh my God, there's two. Oh my God, there's bunches of them. Oh my God, there's a lot. Oh my God, you guys won't even believe how many fish I just saw. This is insane. This is insane. I thought, I, I thought they were connected together. There were so many. I got one on this one too. I don't even know what to do. I got two fish on, two fish on. What do I do? There's another one. They're big. There's bunches of them. I don't even know what to do. This is insane. There's more, there's more down there. Okay, I gotta reel this one in. I gotta reel this one in. Come here, six pound test, six pound test. Okay, come here. Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, come here. Get out of that tree. Okay, I don't see the other ones now. There's there's actually still more. There's still more down there. There's still more. There's three. What are they doing? I don't understand. I don't know what they're doing. Oh my God, this is one of the most insane moments of fishing I've ever had. Oh my gosh. What? What in the world just happened? I'm so confused. There was like four or five fish all together and they were fight. I thought I had them all on. They were so packed tight together. Oh, what? What? Oh my gosh. What in the Seriously, one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to film. I, dude, guys, I'm so apologize, it's such a mess. It's just like, I'm trying to capture this moment, everything. It's nuts, it's nuts. But I mean, look, look, two fish, two fish, two rods. There was like four fish coming out of that tree. As soon as it got to the bottom, the big one hit it. And then there was more. I mean, I think I got one of the smallest ones out of the group on the second fish. I don't, I don't I'm speechless. It doesn't happen very often. Oh, there we go. Two fish at the same time. And I could have had three or four if I had more arms. I needed backup. I needed you guys. Holy crap, that was freaking nuts. All right, okay, we still rolling. All right, I'm gonna let these guys go at the same time. Give them a little water, because I had one out of the water more than the other. Oh, man, guys, 
Look at that. Look at them both go. Okay, y'all, here's the move. I really have had an amazing morning out here. I, I just, I'm kind of speechless on just catching those fish in that, in that moment. And it is time to film some underwater stuff. And honestly, I'm not in a hurry to even fish while they get here. That moment right there was pristine in my memory. So I just want to keep it there for a while, fresh. You ever had a moment like that? Let me know in the comments if y'all have ever caught fish like that, seen multiple fish come out of a tree and caught them two at a time. I need more arms. I need a daggum Medusa out there today. All right, fishing freaks, we're gonna end it right there because I'm about to go meet Brandon and Tristan and show you some really awesome underwater stuff. And that turned into a whole nother video. And we're also gonna learn why so many of those bass are hanging on those trees when we go under the water. So you wanna make sure to subscribe, hit the ding dong so you don't miss all the videos coming up. But I'd have to rank today up at the top in terms of just fishing moments actually seeing bass come out and if i had more rods and more arms if i had other people in the boat with me at that time to just say throw 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 right there we could have caught like probably five or six fish in that same 20 30 second window right there when they were just crushing it and i hope you guys enjoyed some of that camping as well let me know in the comments if you want to see more camping slash fishing uh, outdoor adventures. I love going on those. Reminds me of my childhood uh, going out with my dad and uh, I'm sure some of you out there would like it. But let me know in the comments. Alright Fishing Freaks, time to sign off. Get the boat ready and we will see you underwater on the next one. Later.